Now that this project is complete, we'll show you how to create a video file and save it to storage using the Render Manager. This panel is located at the same level as the timeline. Even if it's not visible, you can access it through the Panels menu. Click on the plus button to add the composition to the render queue. Since the final animation is in the composition labeled Final, we'll add this composition. Alternatively, we could have right-clicked on the composition name in the project panel and selected Add to Render Manager. Each entry in the Render Manager has three lines. The first line is where you define the folder where you want the animation to be rendered in. Click on the button to navigate through your files and create a new folder called Render. If you need to render multiple variations of the same composition, all of the files will be placed in this folder. Autograph offers several options for renaming files based on different criteria. One option allows you to input a different name than the composition name for the rendered files. By entering a new name and enabling this option, you'll see that the updated path at the top reflects the changes. For now, uncheck this option. Each composition can create one or more render instances. The default settings use the same parameters from the composition, but you can change these settings when rendering. For example, if you want to dynamically change the format for responsive design compositions. You can render the total duration of the composition, a specific duration, or use the work areas. For now, keep the entire composition using the Composition Range option. You can also change the frame rate at the time of rendering to have more frames per second. We'll stick with 30 frames per second for now. Here, there's another way to define the file name. Type basketball and make sure to enable the option on the right. The final path at the top indicates that the file will be in the .mov format. That's because by default, the video file format is set to QuickTime. Autograph offers various formats like QuickTime, MPEG-1, MPEG-4, MKV, WebM, and MXF OP1A. Keep the Apple ProRes 422 codec, and since we don't have any audio tracks, we're not going to do anything with the audio settings for now. Click on the Render button on the left. The file will be created on your storage. Keep in mind that the format and codec that you set can significantly impact rendering times. For example, if you switch to WebM format with a VP9 codec, you'll notice that for the same animation, the rendering time seems much longer. Autograph's rendering time is actually the same, but the encoding time requires more time to calculate. Keep this in mind when benchmarking rendering times, as Autograph can sometimes be faster than the encoder itself. Navigate to the folder that contains the two renders and double click on the WebM render to open it in your system's media player. Here we're opening the QuickTime ProRes codec format with VLC. This wraps up our first course on using Autograph, where we created a project from start to finish, combining and animating graphic elements and producing a file and storage. We hope you enjoyed the course and we'll see you in other, more advanced tutorials to discover the hundreds of tools Autograph has to offer, designed to help you express your creativity to the fullest. In this video, we went over how to add a composition to the render queue, set the output location for the rendered file, and configure format and codec settings.